Hello, so I thought my last video was overindulgently long, so I'm going to try and speed things up a little bit. So here is 2011 in film, the best of, still to come. Number one is Super 8. Uh, it looks like a classic throwback to Great Spielberg. I'm seeing it tomorrow. It's been out in the States and Australia for a couple of days, and it's gotten some a lot of great reviews, some sort of not so great, but I'll reserve judgment until I see it. Harry Potter 7 Part 2. Easily my most look forward to movie of the year. I scream in nerdish delight and can't wait, but it'll also be very sad because after that there is no more Harry Potter ever, ever, again. Captain America, another Marvel film, a uh, superhero movie. It looks alright, I'm not too fast because I never really liked the character of Captain America, but we'll see how it goes. Hannah, a movie with Saoirse Ronan in it, directed by Joe Wright who did Atonement and uh, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, it looks really interesting. It's about a girl assassin. Um, it's still to come out in Australia. It's come out in the States and been out for like a couple of months, but who knows when it'll come out in Australia. We have crap distribution. Bad Teacher. This one has Cameron Diaz. Uh, it looks really funny and really rude and looks like a great laugh uh, about like a really sex craved teacher and she goes out and has a bunch of bad sort of influence on the kids she's teaching, it just looks really fun. Friends with Benefits, the new Will Gluck comedy, Will Gluck did Easy A and Fired Up before it. They are some of the best comedies I've seen in ages. He's like the new John Hughes. Um, if this movie's great, he officially goes onto my top directors list. Cowboys and Aliens, the title says it all. Crazy Stupid Love looks like a unique, funny comedy. It's got Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling in it. It looks really interesting, actually. I saw a couple of trailers when I went and saw some movies the other week, and it looks really funny. The Help, Emma Stone, always great to watch. She was fantastic in Easy A. She's in this movie that kind of deals with race issues in, I think, the 50s or the 60s. It's based on some really best-selling book that got written. Um, it looks really good and really sort of heartwarming kind of film, so yeah. What's Your Number? I'm a sucker for a decent romantic comedy and this one's got Anna Faris and Chris Evans in it and it just looks fun, it looks like a laugh, it's not anything big and deep and meaningful but it looks really funny. Hugo Cabret, um, it's, this is the Scorsese 3D movie that's been in talks for a while, it's got Chloe Moretz in it which is one of my selling points because she was great as hit girl in Kick-Ass um, and it's supposedly about this boy who discovers this magic toy shop that's run by George Millet who uh, was some an actual real French filmmaker and sort of was the godfather of special effects because he was a magician and used it and it just looks crazy wild and I'm interested to see Scorsese do a 3D movie. New Year's Eve, I was a sucker for Valentine's Day. I love the multiple character stories where there's like a heap of like eight bajillion things in like a very Altman way they interact with each other. Uh, Valentine's Day was sweet and cute and it was fine and this is the semi-sequel set over New Year's Eve um, and there's a lot bigger names in it too this time. They've got uh, De Niro, uh, they've got Lee Michelle which is one of my selling points because I love her um, and Zac Efron and like a heap of actors in it um, and it looks pretty good I have to say. The Muppets. This looks funny and great and classic. It's got Amy Adams in it, which is one of my biggest selling points. Uh, I'll see any movie with her in it, even if it sucked. <coughs> yeah. um, it looks funny. There have been these two trailers out that are kind of ripping off trailers from other movie, and they're just really having fun with it, so I reckon it'll be a really good movie. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. I love the first one. The first Sherlock Holmes movie reminded me exactly why I wanted to be a filmmaker. So I'm just going, you know, headfirst into Sherlock Holmes 2 because it just looks like a whole lot of fun. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the David Fincher version. Uh, you watch the trailers, I've seen both of them, and it's kind of creepy, but there's just something about it that seems so fascinating the way he does his movies. Um, I love The Social Network. I thought it was one of the best movies of last year, and so and this seems like it's just got that looking at something in a really fascinating way. Um, I haven't read the books, I plan to, and I haven't seen the other movies, I plan to. Uh, so the last two bits are, Steven Spielberg has two movies coming out this year. The first is War Horse, about a boy whose horse is sold to help the war and he has to go and track it down. It's based off a play. 
Uh, it looks like classic sort of Spielberg about the young boy having to grow up, something like Empire of the Sun. It looks very close to that sort of a thing with Saving Private Ryan thrown in there, I guess. And then Steven Spielberg is doing Tintin. I've seen the trailer for this and it blows my mind. It will be the only movie I will concede to see in 3D this year because I don't normally like 3D at all, but I trust Spielberg and this is the kind of movie, in the same way that Avatar was, that it's meant to be in 3D. So there it is, I hope you enjoy this and I will probably put a review of Super 8 up tomorrow after I see it. Bye. This has been a presentation by... <laughs>